Hi, I'm Marilyn Demartini with Yacht World, and we were just aboard this Misty Harbor pontoon boat that's assisted with hydrofin hydrofoil technology. We're going to talk with the developers and the designers of this technology later to show how this new hydrofoil technology that's being used throughout the marine industry is working in the pontoon market. We're here with Pete Melvin from Morelli and Melvin to tell us about their involvement with the Hydrofin company. Tell us, Pete, how did you get involved with Jason in this project? Yeah, Jason uh, Miner called us up. Uh, this is uh, two, two and a half years ago now and he had a, a concept for putting hydrofoils on pontoon boats. Uh, our previous involvement with hydrofoils uh, have been for applications like the America's Cup or high-speed foiling catamarans, uh, but uh, never, never something uh, more uh, uh, of a consumer product um, like, like a pontoon boat. So it was actually quite interesting to sort of trickle down this technology um, that had been developed in things like the America's Cup and, and high-end racing projects um, and you know bring it into a, a, a production boat type that a lot of people can, can enjoy. Well with the growth of the pontoon market these days and the popularity and the increasing speed that these boats are maintaining or achieving uh, it seems the foiling technology makes a lot of sense because from what we experienced on the boat it actually lifts and stabilizes the, the tubes. Yeah, it sure does. The, the uh, uh, significantly reduced power, um, in, increased fuel economy. Um, so all, all those are, you know, very positive benefits that, you know, and, and to us, there's, there's not much uh, downside to it. It's all, it's all good, you know, faster speeds, better fuel, fuel economy, better handling, uh, smoother ride, you get all that. And all by trimming the engines up and letting the foils lift. That's right, the foils are just fixed. They're just bolted onto the boat in a specific location. And so there's no moving parts. And like you said, you can use the engine trim to change the angle of attack and get more or less lift as your speed changes and your, as your seat state changes. And the interesting thing is that it really doesn't change the draft much. I mean, you can still take your pontoon out to the sandbar or whatever because your engine skags are still really below the foils. That's right, yeah, the, the, the foils, uh, only protrude about three or four inches below the, the bottom of the pontoons, and your engine is, uh, you know, typically 14, 15 inches below below that. So it's, uh, it, it uh, yeah, and they're and they're very tough. You could you could pull the boat, up, you know, up on the beach. They they probably won't touch anyway. But if they do, you could you could set the whole weight of the boat on them, and it wouldn't wouldn't affect them. And they're aluminum. They're made, they're constructed they're, of aluminum. They're solid marine grade aluminum. Yep, very tough. So, and in the tritune market, which was interesting, the fins look more like shark fins, <laughs> right. where with the, <laughs> with the pontoon boat, they're a little bit more straight and, and even as they act on all four corners of, this, of the sponsor. Correct, yeah, they're, they're, their shape is specifically for the, the hull shape and you know, how, how it fits with that shape and, and uh, how much uh, efficiency you can gain. And because of the plates that they attach to, onto the hull, it doesn't change the integrity of the hull at all either. That's correct. The, the, uh, the hull with the, the reinforcement plate that we put on is actually stronger than the foil. So if you hit like a rock going 30 miles an hour, uh, the foil is designed to break away. It's very strong normally if you, you know, if you hit a sandbar or a, or a two by four or a four by four or some you know, piece of lumber in the water, nothing would happen to the foil. They're, they're very tough. They're solid, solid aluminum. Uh, but only in a, in a sort of a catastrophic uh, collision, underwater collision, would would, uh, would they break away, and, and the hull would remain intact. And this was the debut here at the IBEX show? Uh, yes, the, the product was announced about a year ago, is when uh, it first started um, you know, marketing and delivering the product, and this is the first major show you know, since COVID and all that, so, so it's great to be out and, and have such a great reception here. Well, we we're really pleased here at Yacht World to have experienced this ride ourselves. We appreciate you being here to help Jason Miner to, uh, to talk to us about it. He's busy uh, showing it to yeah. other boat manufacturers. And all we can say is we enjoyed the ride. Great. We've often seen hmm. racing technology impact the production boat market, but we've seen it here now with foiling in the pontoon market. So thanks for joining us on Yacht World. Stay tuned and we'll see you again soon.